Uh, my name is Josh Villamoret. I'm a marketing director back in Oklahoma City for our museum there, and I'm the co-founder here for Skeletons. And can you tell us uh, the history of the museum, how it came about? Uh, this museum was a kind of like a sister museum of our original one in Oklahoma City, um, the Museum of Osteology. That took us about seven years to put together, and we opened in 2010. Um, so after that success, we decided to open another one, and we were looking around and decided that Orlando would probably be the best place to go. And how did you find iDrive 360? We were very lucky. Um, we just got with a broker, and as soon as we got in touch with him, he said, by the way, you might want to look into this place. And as soon as we saw it, we fell in love and did everything we could to be part of it. And you're going to have 400 different skeletons, and we were told it, t it can take like a week just to kind of to build them. What is the process that you've been going through over the last couple of years to bring this here? Yeah, um, since about June of 2013, we decided that we were going to move into here. Um, and realized that we had a lot of work ahead of ourselves. We have 400 skeletons that are going to go into this place um, that can take anywhere between 15 hours, um, on average around 45, all the way up to about a month put together. Mm -hmm. um, some, some of the larger things like our killer well took three people about 40 days to put together. And those would be the, is it like an articulator, what would they be doing here? Yes, um, we have about six articulators that uh, spend about a year and a half putting the skeletons together for this museum. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us what your most impressive what you will feel will you be your most impressive skeletons here. Right. When you first walk in, you're actually going to see um, nearly a 30-foot killer whale hanging from the ceiling. That one's going to be pretty cool. Um, and you won't get to see it, but until you get to the back, you'll have a 12-foot uh, elephant hanging there. Um, so that'll be pretty sweet as well. And your biggest piece? Uh, definitely the elephant. Yeah, okay. the elephant. Uh, we spent all day yesterday getting that up on the air. And where do you get most of your uh, skeletons from? Uh, actually, they don't come here as skeletons. That's correct, yeah. Most of these things um, arrive in Oklahoma City as a dead animal. We have a lot of different connections that we receive these skeletons from zoos, um, nature centers, anywhere that uh, we can get an ethical and legal source for them. Um, other than that, they come to us as a dead animal and it can take up to four months for them to be cleaned. Uh, and part of that cleaning has to do with beetles, and you will have some beetles here, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Part of our process is the beetles. Um, they eat the met meat from the bone. Um, depending on the size of the animal, it can take up to 24 hours. So in our exhibit, we'll have small skulls like that where the visitors will get to see the skulls eating on bones. And when uh, the date for opening? Uh, we're opening, our soft opening is April 25th, um, and then our grand opening is going to be May 4th. Okay, and how much would it, will it cost for guests to come in? Um, for our pricing and hours, just check out our website, SkeletonMuseum.com. Um, that'll be definitely up to date and uh, should be going by the time we open. Okay, and what is your goal as the, muse as the Skeletons Museum? Yeah, in Oklahoma City, um, it was our main goal to have uh, schools and, and students and stuff like that come and learn about the skeletons, so we definitely want to carry that over here. Um, so every exhibit will talk about the skeletons and teach you stuff that you may not have known about the animals. Um, so we'll have interactives where you can go up and learn the difference between horns and antlers and stuff like that. Good. So thanks very much. Thank